Hey friends, it's been a little bit since I've posted on my channel. I've been working a lot, but I am here and I wanted to give you guys some quick tips on what you can do to save some money during this stay home, stay safe quarantine. So my number one tip, if you haven't ever done this, budget. So yeah, so number one biggest way of saving money is budget. Obviously this is the perfect time to start a budget to me because it's kind of giving you a fresh start because there's so many things that you can't do right now. So it's kind of giving you an idea of what you can cut back on. So great time, it's a fresh start, start your budget. Number two, this is super big for me. Um, so you can also start to see your small deductions that you might have on your paycheck from your employer. So for me, I do a what's called a uh, child dependent daycare. And so I get so much money uh, taken out of my paycheck that would then pays for my after school care. Because I'm not working right now, I don't need that after school care because in my state, uh, school's been um, only to extended learning, so don't need to pay that every single month. So that right there is saving me a ton of money no longer having to deduct that. So budget tip number three is to check your credit report. Um, you'd be surprised how there might be discrepancies to what you think is on there and to what actually is on there, especially if you haven't checked on there. You can get three free a year from uh, freeannualcreditreport.com or you can do a, a like a free report like Credit Karma. I use Credit Karma, um, but I it's, it's just like a soft FICO score, not that you should be worried about your FICO score, but um, it's really nice because then you're able to see what is on your credit file and maybe something you need, you can go on there and start disputing. I know that on Credit Karma, you can't dispute right now during this um, pandemic. So, but you can write them down, print it off and see if you actually, if these accounts are yours and if they are yours, if you need to pay them, if you have the ability to, to pay them, if not start working out some kind of a plan, that way you don't have this on your credit file. Tip number four is to review your bank statements. So this is a perfect time. It kind of goes in with budgeting, um, but you can see any subscriptions that you possibly have that you really don't even need. So one that I had that I do take advantage of is Amazon Prime. Well, I'm currently taking online classes, so I forgot, but now I remembered. Uh, and I did the Amazon, Amazon Prime for students and it, they gave me, I think, six months free. And then after that, $6.99. Either way, it saved me in, so I, I think I was paying $11.99 for it every month times six, 72 bucks. I saved 72 bucks just by doing that small little change. I don't have tons of subscriptions, but um, there's so many out there that you might have those makeup bag subscriptions. Um, if you don't really listen to, like let's say you had Spotify because you were going to the gym and you're not going to the gym anymore. If you're okay with it, suspend them or cancel them, at least during this time. It's not a big amount that you're saving, but 10 to $15 a month times three months or however long this is gonna take, it's gonna cut down on your expenses. You won't think it does, but let's just say you just have three things. You have the um, the makeup, I think it's like Ipsy, something similar to that. Um, uh, Spotify and see another one that people might have that don't really use. Um, Ipsy, Spotify, Amazon. So those three right there, $12, $10, $10, that's $32 times that by three, you're saving over like a, hundred, a little bit less than $100 in three months. Do you really need these subscriptions? Think about it. Tip number five is to get new quotes on your car insurance, homeowner's insurance. This is a perfect time. Just go ahead and plug it in. You have the ability to speak with a rep if you want to, but either way, 
you never know, you might be saving some money. On a flip side of that is I know that a lot of um, car insurance companies right now are giving some kind of a discount because um, you're not driving as much. So give them a call. I went ahead and I um, sent an email to my car insurance and hopefully I get something back even if it's $20 of savings, $10, $15. That's huge for me. Like that's literally, I don't know, two Happy Meals for my son and he loves McDonald's and I honestly I might go to McDonald's maybe once every like two, three months. So if I can get him a free Happy Meal basically, I shall do it. And my last tip is basically just go online and check to see how you can save more money. Right now, if you have um, student loans, I personally don't, but if you do, there's zero percent. If you're able to, pay them down. You're at zero percent. That's obviously if you're working. If you're not working, then obviously start you know save your money as you're getting it if you're if you're getting an income if you're not at this moment um, my heart goes out to you and I hope that you qualify for um, unemployment but there's so many things that you can do right now as an individual to save money and prepare yourself um, you just need to focus get your budget in gear and save money and stockpile because you don't know what's going to happen. And this is the perfect opportunity to revamp, relook at your budget. And if you haven't budgeted before, please do let me know um, in the comments below if you would like me to do a budget video.